Hello and welcome back to the PSD to HTML flat design build. In this lesson, before we jump in and start building our site, we're going to take a look at the starter files. So if you look in the project files folder that comes with this course, you should find a file called flatdesign.psd. If we double click to open that up in Photoshop, we can see the site that we're going to be building over the course of this series. And I taught how to create this particular Photoshop file in an earlier course on flat design with Photoshop. So we're going to take this Photoshop file that we created in that series and we're going to build it out in HTML and CSS for this particular course. Now there's one small difference between the Photoshop file that we created back in that other series and this one. The only thing I've changed in this file is this section down here in the center of the footer with our social media icons. Instead of using the icons that we used in the other course, we're going to use these four icons that I created myself in Photoshop. So that's going to be the only difference between this Photoshop file and the Photoshop file that was created for the other flat design series. So with this file open, I'm going to hit Command H to turn off our guides, or if you're using a PC, it would be Control H, and we can take a look at the file we're creating. I'm going to hit F a couple of times to turn off all of the menus and taskbars, and I'm also going to hit Command R or Control R on a PC to turn off our rulers. Then we can just see the site by itself. And looking at the Photoshop file, we can tell that it's going to be pretty easy to turn this into an HTML CSS document. We have a couple of tricky areas where we're going to uh, have to try out some creative solutions in order to get them to work. But for the most part, it's a pretty simple layout. Most of what we see here on the page can be created in HTML and CSS with a few obvious exceptions. We have our portfolio pieces here. We're going to have to export that as an image. We also have this monitor icon and this video camera icon, which we're going to need to export as images, as well as the left and right navigation arrows on our content slider here. And then as we go down towards the bottom, we're going to need to export our social media icons as images as well. But for the most part, the rest of it can be built entirely in HTML and CSS. Even these little dots that serve as the dividers between our navigation elements, we're gonna take a look at how we can do that using CSS. So that's our Photoshop file. If we jump back into Finder here, you'll notice also in your project files folder, we have a folder called Site01. I'm gonna drag that Site01 folder onto TextMate, which is my text editor of choice. And when you drag that folder onto the TextMate icon, it opens up the entire folder in TextMate so that we can navigate through the different files in that folder over here on this left pane. Now, if you're not using TextMate, if you're using something else, you might not have that option available to you, but I really like that option in TextMate. So the only file we've got in the Site01 folder is this index.html file. And if we take a quick look at that, we can see it's just the bare bones skeleton of an HTML5 document. We're using the HTML5 doc type at the very top. And then we have a head with a couple of meta tags and the HTML5 shiv included. If you're not familiar with that, the HTML5 shiv is designed to work with older versions of Internet Explorer. Older versions of IE don't work well with the new HTML5 elements, such as the section element, the aside element, the nav element, and things like that. Older versions of Internet Explorer don't really recognize what those are, so IE basically just refuses to work with them. So this HTML5 shiv is just a little bit of JavaScript that makes these HTML5 elements work in older versions of Internet Explorer. So if you're doing anything in HTML5, make sure you include some form of this HTML5 shiv or another very similar JavaScript file is the HTML5 shim. And you can search for both of those online, but I've just included that conditional element here in the head of our document. And then we have an empty body where we're going to obviously put our design. So those are the basic files that we're starting with. As we move forward, you'll find me switching a lot between Photoshop, TextMate, and Google Chrome as we build out our site. So thank you for watching, and in the next video, we'll get started by exporting images from our Photoshop file. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.